first grade for today's math mini lesson. Um, we're going to continue learning about shapes, but today we're going to learn about a new kind of shape called composite shapes. Say composite. Good. Um, before we jump into the new stuff, let's just review what we learned last time with our shapes. So we reviewed some of the shapes we already know, like the triangle, square, rectangle, trapezoid, and circle. And then we talked about their attributes or characteristics. Um, which are things like how many sides they have and how many vertices. Who remembers what a vertice is? Exactly, a vertice is are the corners. So whenever two sides meet to form a point, that is the vertice or a corner. Good. All right. So we looked at how many sides and vertices they have, and who remembers the pattern we found? Exactly. We said that how many sides a shape has will always be the same as the number of vertices. So that was a review of what we did last time and now we can get into what composite shapes are. So a composite figure is a figure that is composed of a variety of two-dimensional shapes. So we take more than one of the shapes we already learned about and we put them next to each other to make a new shape. So next we're going to play a little composite shape game together where we look at how shapes can fit together to form composite shapes. And then at the end, there will be an exit ticket for you to create your own composite shape. So let's get started. Okay, so for our composite shape challenge game, what we have to do is make these composite shapes with only the shapes next to each one. All right, and so when we are making composite shapes, we also, it's kind of similar to our measuring rules. So we want to make sure that there are no overlaps or no gaps between our shapes. For it to be a composite shape, they have to be touching so that we can see the whole shape and each um, individual one. All right, so let's get started with this first one. So our first challenge is to make this shape, this is actually called a pentagon, and make it only with a square and what is this one called? Good, a triangle. All right, so let's look. Should I put my square like this? No, because then it covers up some of the lines of the shape we're trying to make. All right, how about right here? Does that look like a good fit? Yep, I think that could work. Okay, and then does it look like a triangle will fit on top and fill all the white space? Exactly, perfect. All right, so that's our first composite shape. So we made this shape out of two of our um, other shapes. So we use it with a, what is this? A square and a triangle, perfect. All right, let's try our next challenge. This time, it wants us to make a big triangle only using a trapezoid and a little triangle. All right, let's try this one. If I put my trapezoid like this, okay, that kind of fits, but do we fill all the rest of the white space with this one? No, we'd have to have two more little triangles. Hmm, let's try another way. What if I put my trapezoid this way? Does that fit? Okay, that looks good. And then should we maybe put the triangle on top? Perfect. Should my triangle go on top of the trapezoid or right above it? Yep, right above it. We don't want any gaps or overlaps. We want to fit right next to each other. Good. All right, so that was our next composite shape. And what two shapes did we use for this one? We used a trapezoid and a triangle. Awesome. All right, our next challenge shape is to make this rectangle. Ooh, but look, we only have a trapezoid and two itty bitty triangles to use. Let's see if we can do it. All right, if I put my trapezoid down, it looks like this is the only spot I could fit, right? Can I put it this way? No, it's not in the box. All right, mm, maybe I could put it this way too. All right, let's try it. So if I put my trapezoid this way, Oh, let me make sure it fits, it's not with the lines. All right, and then do you think a triangle could go on either side? Let's see. All right, that fits. And so does that one. All right, all right, so for our last shape here, we have this one. This one's actually called a hexagon. But this time, we only have six triangles to fill it. So let's see if we can do it. I'm going to start by putting one triangle here. Can you think of any ways we could put the triangles to fill the shape. But I'm going to try doing it by going all the way around. Let's see if that works. Remember, I'm not going to have any gaps or overlaps. I'm just going to place them right next to each other. 
Okay, it's looking good so far. Alright, does it look like it will work? Perfect. So we put all six of those triangles to make a new shape. Here are some examples of other composite shapes. So we can make a lot of really cool pictures when we put shapes together. Notice how there aren't any gaps or overlaps, just like we talked about. For our exit ticket, you can answer it on your own paper and then upload it to your Class Dojo portfolio. Number one says, what shapes are used to make this composite shape? And then your sentence starter is, this composite shape is made with blank. Number two is create your own composite shape. Use at least two shapes to make a new shape, then write how many of each shape you used. Have fun!